need to unmute, Mr. Chair. Gentlelady is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, an in-person committee hearing would solve a lot of the issues that we're seeing today. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we all took an oath to uh, uphold and secure the Constitution, every single one of us. Our first act as members of Congress uh, was, was to take our oath of office. And please allow me to remind you of a portion of that oath. Uh, the, the chair and every other uh, member here solemnly swore that we would support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Uh, the Second Amendment is very much a part of the Constitution of the United States. And so it doesn't matter um, how you feel, how you classify it. Uh, this is an enumerated right that American citizens have to uh, to keep and bear arms. Uh, maybe some of you need to be reminded the Second Amendment says a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. I know you don't like those words, uh, necessary security. Uh, excuse me, I, I, I actually take those words back. Um, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That ends in a period. There's no semicolon, semicolon to follow that. Uh, there are no examples on when government can restrict these rights. Uh, so any, any clever uh, proposition that comes after that is an infringement on our constitutional rights. As you've heard, other committees are not taking up similar rules. I also sit on the budget committee and there's not a rule banning firearms from the hearing uh, or, or conference rooms. Uh, how do you plan to enforce this, Mr. Chair? If there's no enforcement measure he measures here, why have the rule? Will, will there be metal detector, uh, detectors installed outside the committee hearing doors? What is the procedure for delaying a vote as members get screened? Who is going to pay for these new metal detectors and increase security? Mr. Chairman, will you pay for this or will the taxpayers cover these expenses? I would like to request at this time personal security detail that the chairman pays for himself for every time I step into the committee room. If this is passed, the chairman is trying to take responsibility for my personal safety while stripping away my second amendment rights. I don't want a security guard. I want personal security detail. I, I need personal security detail to protect each member that requests it. Uh, how squeamish has proven that they believe they need fences lined with miles of razor wire because there are those that active threats against the Capitol complex. Uh, so if they want razor wire, fences, security, armed security, then we should be able to protect ourselves against these threats. And I want my own security detail. On January 6th, none of us were looking to our neighbors saying, gosh, I hope there are enough metal detectors outside. No, the Speaker of the House was whisked away safely while we were all left vulnerable and defenseless. That I would like to ask, will there be places to store firearms? I'm allowed to carry my firearm in the Capitol complex. So will there be a safe storage area for me to lock up my firearm once I'm disarmed by this case chairman? Uh, I, I believe that this is just messaging on part on, on the part of the Democrats. It is unconstitutional for members of Congress to be detained on their way to vote. With that, I would like to say, are there any other enumerated rights that will be nullified in this committee? Do we have the right to free speech here? The First Amendment secures our right of religious freedom. Are Bibles forbidden in this committee? Are hajibs, are crosses prohibited in this committee? Do we have the 14th Amendment? Are we not all equal under the law here in the Natural Resources Committee? How about the 19th Amendment? Can women vote in this committee? As a woman, I need to be certain this committee has no intention to take my right away to vote. Why do you think they could cherry pick? Why does anyone think that they could cherry pick the Second Amendment and say that this is the one enumerated right that we can take away from people? Why stop with the Second Amendment? Let's go ahead and quarter soldiers in this committee room. There's plenty of soldiers in the parking garage at Fort Pelosi in Washington, D.C. Let's go ahead and forget about due process while we're at it. That way we can unreasonably seize and search members of Congress before they enter the committee room. You know, kind of like what's going on in the House chambers right now. 
I urge my colleagues to think about this. If we don't protect our rights in Washington, D.C., there's little hope outside of Washington, D.C. for the American people to have those rights. This rule is absurd to, and, and is discriminative. Power grab of our constitutionally protected. Right I have to.